Sciatica and spine are intricately linked. There are many spinal conditions that cause sciatica-like pain. Sciatica is a pain that starts from the lower back and radiates down to the leg up to the heel or even toes. Understanding the relationship between sciatica and spine involves understanding the anatomy of the spine, the various conditions that can affect the spine and how they can cause sciatica. And what are the treatment options that are available to us? Hi, I am Dr. Varun Agarwal, a robotic and endoscopic spine surgeon practicing in Bareilly, Uttar Pradesh. I have been trained in Germany and Switzerland and I bring these advanced technologies and techniques and the latest information about spine disorders and techniques of spine surgery to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button to get regular updates on our channel. Anatomy of the Spine Spine is a complex structure which is composed of vertebra, spinal cord, discs, nerves and muscles which support the spine. Spine provides structural support to the body and protects the spinal cord. And it enables flexible movement. The spinal column is divided into cervical, thoracic, lumbar and sacral segments. The lumbar region is located in the lower back and it is particularly susceptible to various conditions that can cause sciatica. Understanding Sciatica Sciatica refers to pain which starts in the lower back and then radiates down the leg through the hips, back of the leg and up to the heel or even toes. It is typically caused by irritation of the sacral nerve roots as they are exiting the lumbar spine. Causes of Sciatica Several spinal conditions can cause Sciatica. Herniated disc occurs when the soft inner gel of the lumbar vertebral disc bulges out and it presses the nerve roots of the spinal cord as they are exit the spinal column. This causes sciatica or radiating pain down the leg. Spinal stenosis involves narrowing of the spinal canal in which the spinal cord travels. This narrowing often occurs due to age related problems like bony spurs or a thickened ligament flavum etc which can compress the entire spinal cord as it is traveling through the spinal canal. Degenerative disc disease. This condition involves breakdown of the lumbar intervertebral discs which can lead to inflammation and nerve root compression. Condylolisthesis occurs when one vertebra slips over the vertebra underneath and this causes compression of the nerves. Pyriformis syndrome. Piriformis muscle which is located in the buttocks sometimes can go into spasm or it may tighten which can cause compression of the sciatic nerve. Symptoms of sciatica Sciatica is characterized by a characteristic symptom of pain and other symptoms which include radiating pain which starts from the lower back then radiates through the hip, back of the leg, to the heel and even up to the toes. This pain can vary from a mild ache to a sharp burning or a tingling sensation. Numbness and tingling. These sensations can occur along with the sciatica. Muscle weakness. Affected muscles may weaken, making it difficult to move the leg or bear weight on the leg. Worsening symptoms. Symptoms often worsen with prolonged sitting, coughing, sneezing or any condition such as micturation which increases abdominal pressure. Patients need the latest and most credible information. I, Dr. Varun Agarwal, a robotic and endoscopic spine surgeon, bring to you the latest information on spine diseases and latest information on advances in the field of spine surgery. Don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and hit the bell button to have regular updates whenever we upload a video. Diagnosis and Treatment of Sciatica Diagnosing Sciatica involves a combination of a detailed medical history, a thorough clinical examination and certain tests such as X-rays, MRIs, CT scan and some blood tests. These tests help to identify the cause which is causing the sciatica in a particular patient. Treatment of sciatica aims to reduce the pain and target the cause which is causing that symptom. The options include conservative treatments such as medications, over-the-counter painkillers such as NSAIDs or even opioids are sometimes needed to tackle the pain of sciatica. Heat and cold therapy also is useful in treating sciatica. Your doctor will advise which is going to work best for you. Lifestyle modification, maintaining a healthy weight, having a proper exercise regimen, doing some ergonomic changes in your workplace and at home can help you elevate the pain of sciatica. Interventional treatments. 
Sometimes patient may require some sort of interventions which is not exactly surgery such as injections of corticosteroids or other anti-inflammatory drugs which is given near the nerve root. These are called as selective nerve root blocks. These injections deposit the anti-inflammatory drug very close to the nerve root which is causing pain which decreases the inflammation around the nerve root and help reduce the pain associated with the condition. Alternative therapies such as acupuncture, chiropractic care, physiotherapy, interferential therapy, short wave diet, hermi, etc. can also be tried to reduce the pain associated with the sciatica. Lastly, if all these conservative treatments are not helping the patient, the patient may have to undergo surgery. Surgery such as microdisectomy, which involves removal of the small disc fragment which is compressing the nerve root or a laminectomy in which the bony part which is compressing the nerve is removed Spinal fusion in case of spondylolisthesis in which the vertebral body which has slipped over another vertebral body is brought back and fused with the help of screws and bone graft and cages may also be needed in few cases. In conclusion, sciatica is a painful condition which is a symptom of many underlying conditions. A detailed thorough history and a thorough clinical examination along with some tests such as MRI, X-ray, CT scan, etc. may be required to pinpoint the exact cause which is causing sciatica in a particular patient. Conservative treatment should always be tried first and the mainstay of treatment of sciatica. If a patient is not getting relieved with conservative treatment and his daily work is being hampered because of sciatica, he may have to undergo some surgical procedures. Your doctor will be able to tell you which surgical procedure is going to work best in the condition which is causing sciatica in a particular patient. Maintaining spinal health through a proper exercise regimen, controlling body weight, having proper posture and having ergonomic chairs and tables, the workplace and a proper mattress at home can help elevate the pain of sciatica. Don't forget to check out our other videos on various spinal problems. Do like and subscribe our channel.